today we are going to learn about how to install rails on our local machine so this is like a, a rail to install uh, rails on your machine it has like a few dependencies so basically we are going to cover each dependency how we can in, uh, install each dependency so that our rails application works perfectly fine uh, perfectly fine on our machine so what we can do so we can like uh, first what we can do we can like just uh, like open few links and so basically we will start with one link at a time so let's open this link now this is the node.js official website you can move to this website and download this installer and this is the LTS version you can download the long term support version so LTS version and you can install node.js on your machine so when you have installed node.js on your machine then you can this would help you to install like the npm package okay so when you have installed like node.js so you can run this command on your machine node minus minus version and this would help you get started with that so i'll give you a quick hint uh when like i have uh, opened the command prompt and i will type node minus minus version so here you can see the node has been installed on my machine so it looks perfectly fine okay so yeah so then you can like then you have installed node on your machine then what you can do you can move to the another link uh this is like how to install yarn the yarn is another dependency required to install rails on your machine so so when you have in, uh, installed node.js so you would have, have access to npm package so you can run this command npm install minus minus global yarn or the alternate way alternative way is to click on this and click on operating system windows classic stable version and you can download the installer so when you have downloaded the installer so you can install yarn as per like uh, uh, you will get a setup so you will have an msi installer and you will like uh, uh, you, this will give you a .msi file that will run walk you through installing yarn on windows so basically it will give you a setup which will help you installing yarn on your machine so this is one of the methods okay to install uh, yarn on your machine so so basically now you have covered the two uh, two parts so basically you have installed node.js and yarn and you can install with by npm also so you can install by npm and you can run this command and to check if this is installed after uh, 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 then you have to type yarn minus minus version okay so here you can see you have got like two things the one is node and another is yarn so next moving to the third part uh, like you can move to sqlite uh, website so this is the third dependency and when you click on this link so you can access to this so this is now you move to this pre-compiled binaries for windows uh now you have to choose either of one um, uh, one of them either 32 bit or 64 bit okay choose according to your system 32 bit or 64 bit so uh like this is required so this is required either 32 bit or 64 bit install any one of them so uh, like depending on your system then this one is mandatory like uh, you have to install so what you'll get you get two files in this and two files in this and three files in this so since this one is man uh, like compulsory so this will be three files and either one of them will be three plus two that is five files you have to extract all the file files and copy them and paste them into your c windows system 32 okay so then when you copy and paste them inside in the c window system 32 then you, your sql light is perfectly installed and you can type sql light 3 minus minus version okay so this would help you install sql light on your machine so here it's good to go yeah the so nice now what you need to do the now moving to the fourth part you need to do you need to move to ruby installer website so basically ruby installer is intended to install ruby on your windows machine okay so basically you have ruby and like you can click on download button and this will give you a list 
from where you can choose from which Ruby version you have to download and install. I would recommend you to download this latest version and then you can walk through if you have like followed my previous tutorials so you must have already followed this step to install Ruby on your machine. Okay so this is the fifth part now uh, to access like to access check whether Ruby installed you need to type Ruby minus minus version uh, you have Ruby now Ruby by default installs the gem package manager so gem minus minus version so so 3.23 is also installed so now you have to execute two commands one is gem install SQL light 3 okay okay then gem install SQL light 3 would like install SQL light on your machine and there's something like this you need to type okay and yeah so this is this is the step is needed uh, and another one is this you have to line, uh, run this command gem install rails so after running these two command then you can like uh, you have installed rails on your machine successfully so this one is the most important command gem install rails okay so after that you have to type rails minus minus version then you have rails on your machine so the latest version of the rails is 6.1.3 uh, 6.1.3.1 so like uh, then you have installed rails also on your machine so i walked you through the part like uh, uh, how you can install rails on your machine then simply you can move to like see so see you can move to desktop i can move to desktop and i will do rails new and basically this is your project name okay so you can type any project name i can type rails my project and here you can see that now it will start creating a rails project on your machine and a bundle install is like installing all the like dependencies required for your project so basically this would show you how to install like dependencies these on your like for your project and when this process is successful then you are able to run the rails application on your machine okay so like this would like take a little time so you can like so basically then you can i can walk you through like few commands so basically rails uh, i'll give a quick overview rails is an mvc uh, architecture so mvc m stands for model so m stands for models uh, v stands for view and c stands for controller okay so models is like basically uh, like working with your database database and then you have view then like view is like presentation on front end presentation layer presentation layer and controller is like communicating logic and communication okay so so basic logic and communication and and I, you can say either linking the above two linking above two okay so th like this is like mvc architecture followed in rails so here you can see like uh, it's in installing like the rails or uh, it's like like rails on your like uh, project on your machine then you can type the command uh, so basically there are two commands one is rails new project name and you can then type rails server okay so by default it will start with the server on your local machine okay so i hope it's good to go then the rail server will be started on your local machine so this is how like the process will go and then you like like this is like is followed so so we can like wait for this process to complete then I think we can like start the real server on our machine. So hey everyone, welcome back. So like uh, like I had like now this has been installed. The Rails project has been initialized in our like directory. So basically, 
uh, we can like I was this here C use personal desktop I had created the rails project here now I can move inside my project by CD my project and I can simply type rails server and here you can see now the real server will start on uh, my local host and at the same point you can move to the project inside the same project directory and you type code dot dot so this would open vs code so basically this is the gem file like there are like various things here so we will like go th over through it and like so the rails uh, like server has been started on my machine so now you can type local host colon 3000 and you can see the rails ser server runs perfectly fine on my machine so this is uh, like the rails now you can this is how you can access rails server on your machine and at the same time you can see that i made a get request for the same so you can track the server here so from next we will start with some basics of rails so thank you for watching this tutorial thank you everyone